on in this video I'll be showing you how you can use the gaming highlights volume 2 pack to enhance your videos just like this one. So here we are in the Wondershare Filmora video editor. As you can see, I have my project here already on the timeline and it's been fully put together. So in this video, I'll be going over how I added the titles, transitions, overlays and elements from the Gaming Highlights Volume 2 pack to this video. So first up, let me show you what's in the actual pack. First, we get 16 different titles. So you get a variety of different titles that you can use to overlay over your footage, as well as some intro type titles that take up the whole frame. To preview the title, all you have to do is double click on the title and you'll get a preview of it right here and once you're ready to go back to your timeline all you have to do is double click on it next in this pack we get four different transitions which are these ones right here and same as of the titles you can double click to see a preview next the pack offers four different overlays in the effects tab so you have a choice of four different animations going across the top and bottom of the frame and lastly, we have six elements. And by the way, guys, if you like the music in this video, it is the song that is included with the Wondershare for More video editor. It's called Living Pulse and it's under the electronic section. So for the time being, I'm just going to mute the sound in my video so it's easier for me to kind of show you what I'm doing without the sound getting in the way. So let's start out with the elements. In this video, I have two different elements, which is the first clip right here and the very last clip at the end. Now adding elements is super easy. All you have to do is literally click and drag the element onto your timeline. Now you can use these on their own or you can put them over your footage. And if you want to customize your element further, you can double click on it and it will open up this tab. Now, once you double click on the element, you can actually move it around the preview. You can resize it and move it around the screen. And you can also add some animations to it. So for example, you can add a fade in and fade out to make it come into the video a little bit smoother. Now, most of the elements already have their own animations coming in and coming out of the video. But if you want to make it shorter, that does get rid of that animation. So you can add it back in using the animation panel. You can also control how fast you want the animations to appear by moving these dots right here. Next, let's have a look at the transitions. So as an example, let's take the one right at the end here. I'm going to delete it by pressing delete on my keyboard and I'm going to head to the transition tab. Adding the transitions is the same as adding the elements. You have to click and drag to your desired location and you can adjust the speed of the transition by moving the sides in or out. So this one at the end, I made it shorter so it's a bit more dynamic. Now let's have a look at how I added the overlay. So let's delete it right here. It's this orange clip at the top of my footage. I'm going to delete it and head over to the effects tab. Same as before, I'm going to click and drag the overlay back into my video and you can control the length of it by dragging it out on the timeline. Lastly, let me show you how I added the titles to my video. Now in this video, I have one intro title and three titles that overlay the footage. First, let's get rid of this intro title. So I'm going to go to the title tab and click and drag my title back in. Now each title comes with its own preset text. In order to change that text, you have to double click on the title in the timeline and you'll have this window come up. You can use this controller right here to control the scale, rotate and position your title. And if it's in your way, you can use this button right here to make it smaller and move it to the side. So you can change the text by deleting what's written right here. So let's change this back to Rocket League. And you've probably noticed that there's some text underneath this title. What you have to do is actually double click on it as it's a separate title and you can change that one too. You're also free to move the text wherever you want on the title so you could change the way it appears. 
and you also have full control over the font and you can also customize the text color and you can also control text and line spacing and let's do the same as with the elements you can add animations to your titles so if you do want to make it either shorter or longer you can add your own fade in fades out as well as a variety of other animations Anyway guys, that's it for this video. I hope that you found it useful and I hope they give you some ideas on how to use the Gaming Highlights Volume 2 pack in your own videos. And if you're interested in the pack, there will be a link in the description below that will take you right over to it. And also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to Filmstock channel so that you never miss any of the future uploads. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye!